how to create a Canva slideshow video for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will show you guys how you can create a slideshow video as a beginner on Canva. So let's get into it. Now it's very simple and very easy, so I hope you guys can follow along. Now I have already logged onto my account. If you don't have one already, all it takes is your email address and that is it. And I am on the free version of Canva. We're going to be using the free version. You don't need anything else at all. Now, to get started, all you have to do is log on to your account. Once you have logged on to your account, you're going to click on videos over here. And you can just click on create blank. And this will create a blank video for you. You can also click on the top right over here and choose a custom size. So if you have a certain size in mind that you want your video to be in terms of the height and width, you can enter those over here as well. The standard size is 920 by 1080 pixels. So that's like the standard size that they give you on a blank canvas. Now, this is going to give you one frame. So it's going to give you a five second frame. Now, what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to reduce the time to three seconds. Now, how can you create a slideshow video? Well, it's very simple and it has a lot of different use cases, especially if you're trying to uh, send a presentation to someone, if you're trying to send, you know, a memorable video event to someone or something along those lines, you can easily do that with a slideshow video instead of just a PPT version because that can seem a little, you know, student-ish and uh, we don't want that. So to get started, first off, I'm going to go into my element section. You can go into your upload section and upload your images that you want to include in your slideshow. I'm just going to go into my elements and I'm going to take some images off of Canva uh, just to show you guys how to build a slideshow. So I'm just going to go search in the photo section and I'm just going to take a couple of photos now in my first frame. This video I have this like picture over here and I'm just going to place it like this. You can place it over the entire screen. That's totally up to you. This is like a design choice that I'm making like so. And after that, you're just going to click on add page. So this will be the second section. And I'm also going to reduce this to three seconds. And you don't have to actually do that. You can just choose the timing and then apply it to all your pages later on. Uh, this is just if you want to change the timing of certain pages. I want it all to be the same. So I'm going to do this later on. Now I'm going to add my second image. You can upload as many images as you want and, uh, you know, select them from over there. Uh, but I'm just going to add my images from here simply because I just want to, like so. And this is just some creative liberty I'm doing. I'm going to add another page and then I'm going to add another image as well. So I'm just going to show you guys some other design elements you can do. One thing you can do is that you can expand the entire image or just, you know, make it almost the entire screen. And then place it right over the center. You will see some purple lines. Then you can just click on the transparency and make it step by transparent or so pretty transparent. Then you can just take the actual image, reduce the size a little and then place it on top. It looks very nice and you know, it can make your slideshow videos very interesting to look at and very pleasing. I'm just going to add a couple of more images. So like so. And I've just added a bunch of different images. Now, once I've added all my images, I can click on the top section over here on the top left. It has timings and I can click on apply timing to all pages. And then let's say I want it all to appear for three seconds. Now, after that, what I like to do is I like to add transitions in between each page. So you can just click between two pages and you can have two options, add page or add transition. We want to add a transition. So we can just click over here and you will see this bottom icon. This is add transition. So once you click on add transition, it will ask you what kind of transition you want it. So I want this to be maybe a sliding transition. You have line swipe, you have stack, you have flow, you have match and move, you have chop, you have the circle loop, you have color wipe, you have dissolve. So you have a bunch of different options. I think I'm going to go with flow. And now I am going to use this. And just taking a look at how it's going to flow. Now we have this in the first section. Then we can have this. And then for this one, maybe I want it to, because this has two images instead of one, we can't really apply the flow one. Instead, let's see if we group them together. 
if we can still apply the flow transition. So if you group the images together, if you have multiple images, you can apply the flow transition and you have multiple different directions. So I think I'm going to go with upwards like this. So now you guys can see how we have a beautiful little video presentation. I think I'm also going to add a first frame. So I'm going to go ahead and this could be like a video for a zoo trip. So I'm just going to take a basic color. Then I'm going to go into the text section and you have a bunch of different font combinations that you can use to uh, write some interesting text over your videos as well, over your video presentations. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So we have a little text over here and I'm actually going to ungroup the text because it was grouped together and I'm just going to resize it a little like so and then you can click on the text as well and click on animate and add multiple different kinds of animations so you can choose how you want it to appear. I think I actually don't want any kind of animation on the first slide. So I think it's pretty good as it is. You can choose it if you want, if you like that. But I'm not going to add any of those and I'm going to add the timing. Three seconds apply to all pages. Now you can see our video uh, presentation or our video slideshow is ready. It looks very interesting. It looks very good. So now what I'm going to do is that not only can you do this, but you can actually go into your element section you can add mini videos within this as well if you want to do so that is totally up to you but if you want to do that you can also do that you can also include music so you have those options so you can click on apps you can click on audio and you have multiple different audios you have you know a bunch of different sample audios you can pick from so just to show you guys how it would look like in a audio so we're just going to add a simple ukulele song you can drop the music over here then you can place however you want it to start. Now I'm just going to expand it. I want it to be from the start to the end. Now once you've done that, you can just click on share on the top right over here. And in your share section, you can actually click on view only link and then you're going to click on copy. And now what this view only link actually does, so if I show you guys, like so. So what the view only link does is that now you have a simple link that people can click on and open it and they can just view the slideshow. They can't make any edits or anything and they can view it. And the best part is, is that if you later on make some edits, all you have to do is, you know, you, the link will remain the same and people just have to refresh their link. And once they refresh it and open it again, the new edits that you might have added will be updated in this link as well. So you guys can see over here, we have our little amazing Canva slideshow video. Not only this, but you can click on share over here, click on download if you want to download it in the form of an MP4 as well. If you want to upload it somewhere else, you can also do that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.